Let's check out some fun things you can do with Google Goggles, which was just released in Google Labs today. Uh, I've already downloaded it, but if you don't have it already, you just go to the Android Market and search for Google Goggles, and you'll find it there. It's free. So we'll open up the application here, and this is the first time I've uh, run it on this phone, so you um, can accept the terms of service. It tells you some things that you can take pictures of, so we'll go through some examples of these. And there's a video to show you how to get started. I'm going to enable search history so I can look at my pictures later. And say get started. Alright, so one of the things that I can do is recognize uh, books. So I have the, in the spirit of Christmas here, there's this book by Dave Barry. So we have Google Goggles open and I'm just going to take a picture of it. And you'll see it's analyzing. Okay, boom, it found the book. I could look and see if I was in a bookstore, if I could find it cheaper somewhere else, or re uh, reviews online. Um, let's try another one. Now maybe I'm interested in Seth Godin, so I read this book called Tribes. And I'm pretty sure it'll get this one too. Yep, okay, so it found, uh, it found the audio CD version uh, at that time. <laughs> Not always perfect. And let's try another one. It's book by Steve Jobs. Well, it's not by Steve Jobs. It's uh, it's about how to make presentations like Steve Jobs. Let it analyze this. And then, uh, yeah, so I did this one before, and that, this is why I wanted to show it, because uh, um, you'll see at the, um, oh, there's my picture. Uh, you'll see it, it does do a, the book match. It, it matches the, the book cover. But the funny thing is that uh, it can also uh, find that th there's a name there. And so you can search for Steve Jobs or even add him uh, to your contacts. I guess he's not in my contact list yet, which is uh, kind of surprising. Um, yeah, and uh, speaking of contacts have a business card of mine here that'll focus yeah a couple things blacked out sorry about that um, and I'll just take a picture of it and you'll see that it's picking up uh, you know the Google's phone number and the website it uh, lets you add me to the contacts searches for my name and it also matches the the Google logo. So a lot of stuff going on there with OCR and image recognition. And you've probably seen this on uh, you know there are similar products also that can uh, do other product things like just uh, scanning a barcode but I'll show you that on Google Goggles just so you can see and you just take a picture of it like you take any other picture. So this is some, um, uh, this is Windex uh, antibacterial, and you'll see it, it matches the barcode, and then it has a link off to product search. And so, as you can see, I'm getting kind of low on uh, my Windex, and I can find uh, some places to buy it online. You'll see right there. But, that's all nice. But I just found a new use for, for Google Goggles uh, just when I when I came home. Um, so I've gone to Europe a couple of times and seen some pretty famous landmarks, but I never uh, write down what they are. I've, I'm really bad at uh, organizing my photos. So I have all of these uncaptioned uh, photos. So I was going through a few of them that looked like they might be you know some sort of famous landmark. And uh, I was uh, taking pictures of them, 
and uh, let's let's go through a few and, and see how it works. And so I'm actually just taking uh, pictures of a picture right now. These are from my personal photo album, so uh, it's not being helped out by GPS or anything like that because I'm in California right now. I'm not over in Europe. So this is just purely image recognition. So I'm going to take a picture of this building here, and this is... Uh, I don't even know where this is. I think it's somewhere in the Mediterranean because I know this was in 2003 that the picture is dated and that's when I went on a, a cruise in the Mediterranean. And we can see, oh, okay, it's St. Paul's Cathedral. And so then I could then uh, caption it. Uh, this picture here, uh, also from my 2003 trip, I uh, do have it captioned, but my only caption is big church. So I have no idea even what country uh, this building is in uh, until I take a picture of it, of course. I'll see it analyzes. Please focus. There we go. And it's in Amalfi Cathedral. So I could even click right here on the little place thing that'll show me right on the map where it is, um, or I can read about it um, right there. Let's do a few more here. This is a lot of fun. So again, this is uh, this is probably somewhere in northern Italy because this is 2007. Okay, so this was in Venice. And I'll have to actually caption these later. Um, and, uh, okay, so we have a you know famous fountain here. And these are all things that are, it would be really hard to search for with text. I mean, you can't just type in fountain Europe and, you know, how many would you have to go through? Um, but just taking a picture of it... Uh, it's a lot easier than trying to describe what's going on and figure out what keywords to use. Okay, so that's in Rome. And I have one more here that I tried and this also works. This is from the 2003 trip. And there you go. I don't even remember that that town name there. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I don't speak French. Uh, so anyway, those are some cool things that you can try with Google Goggles. So just go to the Android market, search for Google Goggles, and uh, start taking pictures.